Hi guys, welcome back to Thinguide, the show where we learn the way things work. In today's video we're going to learn how mechanical springs work, including their different types and their uses. To understand springs, first we need to understand elastics. This is when a material changes shape or deforms when a force is applied, and then returns to its original shape when the deforming force is removed. Many objects display elastic characteristics such as scrunchies, sponges and even metal beams and bridges where the deformations are much smaller. Everything changes shape slightly when the force is applied. The material is only considered to be behaving elastically if the original shape is returned to when the force is removed. Here we can see how the sponge is squished when compressed by the plunger but when the plunger is removed it returns to its original shape as if nothing had happened. On a more technical level, most elastic materials are said to obey Hooke's law where the deforming force is directly proportional to the amount the material changes shape or its extension due to the force. As the relationship is proportional, we can represent this by introducing a constant of proportionality, k, referred to as the spring constant. To form the equation, f is equal to kx, where f is a deforming force x is the extension exhibited by the material and k is a spring constant. k is also the gradient of the force extension graph. When a material behaves elastically, they tend to have a linear relationship on the graph as opposed to plastic deformations where the relationship is non-linear and the deformations are permanent, meaning the object doesn't return to its original shape. In three dimensions, Hooke's law is displayed as the relationship between stress and strain. Stress is a force per unit area and strain is the extension over the original length. The relationship again is linear, so the constant E is introduced. This is referred to as the Young's modulus, which is the gradient of the stress-strain graph. The physical reasons for elastic behaviour can be quite different for different materials. In metals, atoms are held together in an atomic lattice. Initially, this is at a low energy state. When forces are applied, energy is added into the system and these forces cause a deformation. When the forces are removed, the lattice returns back to its original low energy state. This is why we can sometimes feel a spring being heated after long, repeated uses. When excessive forces are applied, bonds between the atoms in the lattices can break, causing permanent plastic deformation. For rubbers and other polymers, elasticity is caused by the stretching of polymer chains when the forces are applied. Excessive forces can again cause polymer chains to break. Springs are objects that can behave elastically. Where they differ from the rest is that their main function is to change shape when forces are applied. So a steel beam or a sponge may display elastic behaviour, but it isn't their primary function. Now let's look at some of the main types of springs and their uses. First up are tension springs. These are springs that can be pulled or loaded in tension. A perfect example is the spring used in a weighing scale. Next up are compression springs. They are squished together or compressed. They are commonly used in mattresses and in the suspension systems of vehicles. Constant force springs use wire that is tightly wound together. They then release the energy gradually. They are commonly used in clocks. Torsion springs are used to open or close things in a hinge-like manner. A perfect example is those found in a mouse trap. Springs have a variety of different uses, some more useful than others. They can be used to absorb energy, 
store energy as well as dissipate the energy through damping. Springs do always come in the form of coiled wire. They may instead use compressed air, rubber or even metal strips. They can be manufactured in a variety of different sizes, shapes and stiffnesses, all for different purposes. If you did enjoy the video, please like, share and subscribe because that's the only way I can keep making them.